So, uh, still here. I'm in my sister's house. A little joy sign back there. Um, the, <clears throat> where you dry the dishes there. Uh, still curious about this thing, timing. This Can you be out of sync with your life? I don't think so. Is your life perfect? I believe that it is. Um, how to stay in sync or relax around the timing becomes something odd. It's uh, almost one o'clock, almost two o'clock, <laughs> uh, Thursday afternoon. Thought I'd be on the road by 1.30, told my mom 1.30, and she said, got 500 miles to drive. I said, yeah, I'll get on the road when I get on the road. Went to start the car today, and it... So I realized I was in the perfect spot. I borrowed a couple of wrenches from my brother-in-law, drove over to Walmart, changed the battery out. Now I'm feeling much more secure about the battery in the car, and the battery in the old one was old. But I was sitting here, Mom came in, uh, she's getting on the road today too, I believe, to head to Canada. And I was just, again, thinking about this timing thing, and my sister said, are you there? And I said, yeah, she said, are you there for a few minutes? I said, I'm here until you get here. And I said, I'll head, uh, get on the road once you get here. And she said, I just saw a man with a big trailer, he's picking up uh, appliances, that fridge in the garage needs to be, uh, he's going to come and pick it up. Can you make sure that it doesn't have anything in it? Again, what are the chances of me being here? I mean, there's nobody else in the house, her daughter. And there was a bunch of stuff on top of the fridge, not in the fridge. It was out in the garage. So I've cleared that out and pushed it out to where all I have to do is put it on Dolly and slide it onto their trailer, and, and away it goes. But she thought that they were going to have to take this fridge, uh, dismember it, uh, take it to the dump, be charged, take it to the dump, and bumps into a man who's going to come and pick it up for free because he does something useful with them. And like I said, if I weren't sitting here at her kitchen table, I don't, you know, she would have got nobody here. They would have had to come here. She would have had to race to beat him here. Uh, as of right now, neither of them are here yet. So, uh, but this, like I said, timing, your life is perfect. I hate to break it to you. Uh, everything that has happened, maybe not for a reason, but it has happened the only way that it can happen. Again, we were challenged this weekend as my nephew uh, used somebody else's car to drive uh, places now, without a license, apparently, too. That kid's got uh, adventure in his bones. But I'm uh, um, trying to look at the timing and the perfection and all of that and sit with it and be okay. And then, I mean, the outcome was he came home and he was okay and, and very, very happy that he got out of it safely. Uh, and it was, you know, just an adventure for him. Uh, so, uh, again, if you look at your life, look around. It's perfect. Uh, if you want it to go differently, uh, look at a different operating system. Uh, so that my sister and I are both looking at, we're looking at it from a different point of view. If you found your different operating system, good for you. Uh, I find mine uh, simply intricate and intricately simple. That is not my phrase. But uh, it does take work to keep out in awareness. It does take work to stay out in observation and magnificence. Uh, and uh, if you're unwilling to do it, then don't. Live your life. It'll still be perfect whether you like it or not. <laughs> www.micpeakperformance.com